Well, uh, everyone, it's the old fella back. And with me today, we have... Alexei Bagnitev. Hi. This gentleman is a professional musician, unlike myself. Um, and uh, I've got a lot of questions for you. First, the first one is obvious. When did you start? Started very early, mid five years old. Right, but many many years ago. Right, yeah. Um, so obviously, you can read music, you understand music. To me, it's all dots and squiggles. I'll be honest. Um, but um, and all, also, what made you choose the cello? Uh, first, I have to say that I was born in a family where a lot of people were or are musicians. So my grandma was a pianist. Her son is a cellist. He's still playing in the cello. And uh, my sorry, brother of my mother, uh, brother of my grandma, he was a very good composer. And both his sons were musicians too. That's his uh, younger son. His, he used to be a good pianist, but he decided to be a businessman. He's very successful. And another time he started to play the show as well. But then he decided to shoot the guitar. And well, uh, that was the, the right decision, let me say. He became very popular. Maybe he, you, know, you heard about him. His his name is Victor Smolsky. Right. Uh, he used to play a lot, and also uh, I think with Rage Band, yeah, they made several concerts. Right. I started the shows, and I was supported by my the whole family. So yeah, yeah, no one forced me. Right, yeah, no, my credit in my family. No, no, because you see, obviously, with me, because of my age, yeah, you know, I was brought up back in the in the sixties, seventies. So it was all like guitar music and like, oh, classical, you know. And yeah. obviously, as you get older, you appreciate how difficult it is. I mean, right, you have uh, right, okay, I play a guitar, and it's got frets on it. Yeah. You've got no frets. You've got the neck that comes up here. How on earth do you know you've got the right notes? Nice. First, you have to find a very good teacher that, that will teach you how to put fingers around me. Yes. Otherwise, the teacher is not very good. You'll play out of tune all the time. The second thing, you should have a, a very good pitch. For example, I have absolute pitch. And that's some kind of discrimination, I just got it. Yeah. 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 You need to practice a lot, you need to remember what the you know should be. And yeah. the problem differs so much. When you play the piano, it doesn't matter. I mean, you have frets, yeah. But here it depends on which tonality you play. Sometimes it has to be lower, sometimes it has to be higher. Yeah. Many things to do. I know, I know. So I find it, I find it totally, totally incredible. Thanks. Because I know if I ever picked up something like that, it's just going to sound awful. Because I'm never going to. But I know a lot of it's to do with muscle memory, as well. I mean, it, it's like with me. If I'm playing the guitar and I realise I'm not looking, yeah. then I, then I screw up. <laughs> but, you know, because I don't, I, I don't practice. I mean, I. I um, I was in a band, what, no, I don't know, 30 years ago or whatever. And I stopped for about 20 years and I just started playing again and, and doing it and doing me, me own, me own thing. Um, but I found it so interesting. It's the same with like somebody with a violin. Okay. It's got a shorter neck, but you yeah. still got, you still got the same. Oh, I just, I think it's, it's fascinating. And 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 you you people are incredibly talented. You really really are to yeah. to be able and and the the work and dedication that goes into the one instrument is like incredible. 
I, I really, really appreciate people that can do that. And then you started to do Bandmade, right? Yeah. And we've all said we'd like to hear Bandmade sort of done orchestrally, right? And then, then you've come along with your cello and done it, right? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Uh, and you see, because, I mean, I know the two the guys, two cellos, but yeah. they're using effects on their cellos. And they're using electric ones where there's, there's no body. It's just the, you know, and the strings. But, and I also made a comment to the last, which is up today, by the way. Um, don't you tell me. That I made a comment that where you record it, it's done purposely in a room to get the, the reverb from from the room, like where we use effects. Am I correct in saying that? Yeah, you are correct. So, I didn't use anything, Jabber. So. Yeah, because. No. So yeah. uh, no, I'm thinking about buying some equipment to make yeah. this effects because. Uh, you know, they sounds have deep classical roots, but it doesn't mean I can play just acoustic. Sometimes it doesn't work. And I'm still ahead to use some uh, effects. Remember, uh, super show, uh, for example, in warning, remember this place? And say, just uh, things. I, I have to make out this using super show playing here with the bridge. Otherwise, it sounds. Too good. Um, I can, right? I can do. I can spin my shell and, and different stuff. So we can play hundred percent acoustic. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, I do, see, I do understand certain things about uh, uh -huh. getting the sound right, the hall effect, the, the room effect, and, and all that. But I mean, we cheat. We have pedals and things. <laughs> I've got a big box. I don't need any, I don't even need an amplifier. I've got what they call a helix, and there's everything in there. But um, to get the sound you want, but you're you're doing it the way it was done, the way it's always been done. That a lot of people don't seem to realise that. No, like, this is how it was originally done. This is the way, and this is where um, modern instruments have, have taken the sound from, made a little box up to to create the same. But it's never the same. It's never the same as the real thing. And um, and I, I find it I find it so interesting, like the environment you work in to get your sound. And I'm thinking it's gone to a lot more trouble than me. I just press a button um, to to do it, which is absolutely fantastic. And I don't I don't realise that people a lot of people may not realise just what you're actually doing to get to get it to sound like that. Um, then you're doing the different parts. Am I correct in saying that a cello is the nearest thing to a human voice? I totally agree with that. Yeah, definitely. And it can substitute words in most sounds. I would say. Well, because when you're doing the, and, and also I said something else. I said it doesn't matter what language somebody's singing in, when you play it. It's there. It's right. It sounds right because it's all to do with sounds and everything else. And so, because when you're doing um, psyche's parts, it's like yes, it's that's it. It's there. Great, absolutely yeah. great. So I'm, I'm looking a bit. That's better. I'm. <laughs> it's going a bit orange. <laughs> I'm going. I've gone orange again. It it happens. This is Zoom for you, but. Uh, but uh, but yeah, absolutely fantastic what you're doing, and you. um, and it's thanks to uh, I do believe it was Gary Holloway that put me on to you. Uh, says, man, Gary. I know. He says check this guy out, so I, I, I'm on it. Of course, you see, and then it's band made. Everybody likes band. Well, you know we're all what we call maniacs. And uh, do you actually are you in a, an orchestra? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, I'm working in a private uh, symphonic orchestra like called the Vuk Philharmonica, based wow. on the Baden Württemberg. So it's under thousand Germany. I started working uh, in October 2019, so almost three years. 
Right, because like um, classical music and that is very big in Germany. Yeah, oh, I like the country for that. Yeah. Still, more opportunities than in other countries. I don't want to say anything bad about that country, but there are so many things, so many projects, orchestras, and different stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, right. Um, it's like Tormann, the music place in Germany. They yeah. don't just have guitars, they have every conceivable type of instrument. Man, I have a lot, and there are so many high schools and uh, Hochschule, like people say here, and even in small cities. Uh, I live in a very small city, it's around 15,000 people living here, but there are two schools. One is like state school, another is private one. And they have different, and I like Germany for that, even and then a bigger city, and you can find a lot of conservatives. Oh, so, yeah. we, because in my homeland, we have just one conservative and some prudent, maybe three or four, and that's it. And here, you have plenty of conservatives. That's great. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it, it's like uh, I couldn't tell you here in the UK, you know, because obviously, I'm, I'm, I was just so into it rock music you know so um but uh, i mean what make what make of cello is it is yours the make sorry what what make yeah like yeah you know, i've got guitars gibson fender what make of cello is it is it a uh i mean what who made it uh, I yeah. it was made by a german master uh his name is uh Georg Dillen. Actually, he's from Belarus as well, but uh, he moved to Germany, I think, more than 30 years ago, so he's supposed to be a German master. Um, he built a nice instrument. I got it in 2011, played a, a bit, and then I brought it in 2018. And you know, that was made for my uncle as a cellist. I brought it from him. And I have my surname back in seven years. So there are two back in seven in this way. Right, nice. I'm not sure I like it. And it has a very good sound. And it's very light. And it's right. beautiful. It, it looks like all Italian instrument. So then you decided to recreate that kind of instrument. And so maybe I can share it. It's quite small. I I would say that it's not uh, more precise, but maybe it's seven eight. It's closer to seven eight instrument. I say it's very light and beautiful. Thing. No. I like the style and I don't want to change it for many years. Yes, that's that's another thing that they do last do last for years. Yeah, yeah. I will keep playing this cello. I'm more than satisfied. Yeah. Whereas, let's say with the guitar, the frets wear out, so you have to get it refretted, and a lot of times they're never the same after that. Whereas with 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 a cello like that, but I mean that that in itself is a work of art. You know, yeah. building. Building something like that, it's a work of art, and it's it's all handmade, not like um, lots of guitars now. A lot of the parts aren't handmade at all, it's all done by machinery, you know. Yeah. The, the, the whole the, the whole thing, and it's it's incredible to to, uh, to see these these instruments and the the, the way they're, they're manufactured and, and everything else. Yeah. It's built with love and care. Yeah. Whereas these days it doesn't matter. Nobody seems to care. It's just like thrown together to the mind you're saying that. I brought a guitar from uh from Toman in in Germany, uh Harley Benton, their own sort of brand. Made yeah. the made in Indonesia, right? And uh well that's like 100, 149 pounds, which is probably about 160 euros. Yeah, it's better than me flipping 2,000 pound one. 
Uh, you know, you know what I mean. I'm, I'm trying to say it's it's because how can I explain this? In Germany, you have they have standards. This country used to, but now they're all gone and nobody cares. You know, they don't take pride in what they're doing, whereas they do. They and it and it's and it's fantastic. It's fantastic to see. I mean, like I say, that's that. There's a work of art. Um, well. Wow. Wouldn't know where to start with building one of them, no. Um, but um <coughs> and <laughs> and you're playing right. You have when you're playing, you've got you've got different styles that you're playing. You you'll pluck and you will you'll even bend the strings, I've noticed. Well, uh, sure I can bend some of this. I can sure. You play on guitar like this. It's not different. I can only imitate. <laughs> I can do that. So it has very high bridge. Yes. Uh, strings are different and they're not so thin like a long guitar. So. Yeah, yeah. But, oh, they're kind of only imitators. What? Can I, can I ask a question? How far are the strings away from the neck? So it depends. Uh, here, maybe one millimeter. And here, I would say about eight millimeters. Okay, so yeah. So it depends on the height of the bridge. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. It's all right, because get, with guitars, we're getting as close to the uh -huh. neck as possible. My hurt his fingers, you know. We're watching. Can you see the difference? Yes, yes, I can uh, see that, uh, yes. So, in the back. So, but be careful, Ben, you can get this. Nice effect called soup on the cello. When I play here, next to the... Yes. Yeah. That was nice. And I also train your fingers very well, especially when you play here, because it has my attention here. So like right. here. Right, next question. The bow. How often, how long does a bow last before you have to change? Oh, character I do it like uh, once a year. All oh, right. If I, if I play more, maybe twice a year. For stories, I don't know. I have never been like a proper song, but well, like, that... and then, sorry, in the head to play a lot of concert. Yeah. Like it goes pretty, maybe every two months, every three months. Depends. Right. <laughs> I should really play. Some people play with so so passionate that Brothers are like 10 hairs or 20 hairs per cancer so they need to change every week. Yes, <laughs> I've seen that. Yeah, that's why. I, um, how do they do they stay in tune very well? Yeah. See, like you get some guitars don't yeah. stay in tune very well, but a cello does, yeah? Usually, yes. All oh, right, because, that's good. Uh, you can play a lot if you do it right. It was to remain tuned. But if only a uh, string set is new, it can get out of tune, but it's okay. You sometimes else. We should play it for, me for maybe several weeks or months. And since my instrument is quite young, it's 22 years. A string instrument is where it's nothing. It stays tuned, stays tuned. And then the red, if the weather changed, because uh, in Minsk, I have an older instrument. It's also worse and it reacts very much. Uh, the weather affects so much. Sometimes it's uh, brighter, sometimes it's uh, dimmer. Uh, right. Um, how often do you change your strings? Uh, not so often. I think once a year or. Um, it can take longer. It depends how much the left leg is. There was this period of lockdown, COVID. I used to play less. So maybe I changed after one and a half year or two. And if you play a lot, so it depends which string they use and how. Where do you play? I mean, solo player, chamber music player, orchestra player. <laughs> if you're accurate or not accurate. Yeah. So, 
you can break the string up. Uh, you can do it with, uh, with something wrong. <clears throat> yeah, because like um, with uh, electric guitars, the strings will sort of go um, dull sounding, so you, you end up changing them, which is like quite a lot if you play them a lot. With a bass, with the bass guitar, you can cheat. You can put them in boiling water, and it gets out all the uh, all the muck, and then you put them back on again. Um, <coughs> but um, no, it's interesting. But you see, again, <coughs> with with the uh, because um, you've got the uh, that's it the, on the strings because it curves over like that, so you can play each string. That's what also amazes me. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. with a guitar, if you're using a pick or your fingers, you're yeah. going to you're going to the string. So you can feel where you are. But with a bow, you know, it's knowing that's that's again, again, that's that's something yeah. else. Yeah, you just get used to it. Yeah, oh, oh right. yeah, I know. Everything with with uh, with with practice you get to yeah. <laughs> you get used to it. Um, of course, I'm, I'm going to ask you this question, right? Because somebody somebody says, why don't you sort of do it as a, get a trio together or something like a quartet and do a bandmate song? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's uh, so very difficult to find mediacs in my string players. <laughs> yeah. I, I try my best to promote my members. Still, I'm the only man. Well, this is what surprised everybody because <clears throat> you don't expect what we call the elite musicians no. to do rock music, right? But okay, Deep Purple did it with the Philharmonic Orchestra all them years ago. But the thing is, it just proves the point that classical instruments are never going to be out of date because it doesn't matter what you do with rock music or metal you can do it with them and i always and i always thought that uh, if you like um the rocker was beethoven hmm. you know and, and when they played things on the harpsichord you know it's really you know really going for it so <laughs> regards music changing it hasn't them instruments are going to be around for eternity because they can fit in with modern music quite easily and they're never going to be out of date. Right. And, and you're, proving, you're proving the point. I think it will never go out of date. They're still using, orchestra still using many soundtracks. There are no MIDI instruments that can substitute String instruments and men, and a special shout. I have a lot of recordings, and I let me say it sounds not very really good, being polite. Even uh, in about us, so such a nice ballet. But remember, in the middle of the song, there's a small paper shell, and it's, it didn't sound very well. I don't want to say that and it's a bit by girls, and can I mean, uh, maybe make it shell? Even uh, average hell would sound much better. And if you're using a very good instrument, so in incomparable, I would yeah. say. I've got um, an effect that I can turn my guitar into a synthesizer, right? And it's got a cello on that. And I'm thinking, it's not right. It's not right. Because it's done with MIDI. Yeah. And what MIDI is, it's just like a switch, it's on or off. Where there's no feeling. You can't there's no you can't put you know, if you sort of bend the strings, it sort of goes doink, you know, it's not you know, it's it's not right. Yeah. This is the thing with MIDI. It's it's a switch, it's on or off. So to get any feeling into it, it's oh, it's yeah. Not I like a guitar. You can bend the strings. You can put feeling into it. You can do that. And same with the cello. But what I found with the cello is the sound. Like I said, it's more like the human voice. And when you when you play the the, the vocal parts, it is just brilliant. 
It's just so, so well done. And how long does it take you to learn all that? So it depends on the sun. For example, uh, balance lines, pitch, and pitch room. And then I don't think it took a lot of time to learn the part. But it was quite difficult to record. Special patches. Actually, that was my first experience making a five voice cover. Because until that moment, I did several of three voices, but it was quite short and easy. And the patch was. Uh, it was quite hard, but I'm very happy I recorded it and get a lot of reviews and many comments and quite a lot of reviews. We're all yeah. happy. Yeah, yeah. I was happy to end. Sometimes the uh, safety part is quite complicated, like in the previous uh, cover, don't you tell me. Mm. And it's all this small, so I, sometimes I have to reduce the speed and listen to it. On, 0.75 or 0.50. Uh, and it's parts as well. Because her saw sometimes can be very easy, sometimes can be <laughs> quite tricky. Right. Now, it's interesting because I've seen when um, guitarists are learning bandmate, they will reduce the speed as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, but also, what I, what I loved in the, in the last one, <laughs> don't you tell me, when you spun it round, <laughs> and I goes... Well, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do something. No. I'm not allowed to do it. Welcome. It, no. What, it, what, it, what it's good, it's good to see this because, like, you, you, you're getting into it. Like, you know, you're getting, you get, whereas, and I, I don't mean this in any bad way, where you, where you, with an orchestra, you've got to be all prim and proper, you know, yeah. and then, to come away from that and to sort of, I can't say you've got the same haircut as me. Um, I can't say let your hair down um, because, you know, and that was great when you did that. I thought, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to do, to do it. Because most of we play classical music and we are not allowed to do this. If you do it once, you get from it. I mean, if, if you play stuff like jazz music, or, you can feel free and do something like that. Like yeah. You know, you don't play jazz at first. And I used to do it a lot of while playing in cover bands. So I've been playing there for two years. And I, I'm in jam playing. I stood up and played. Yes, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I, I like it. That's it's good. My, that's my freedom here when playing covers. Yeah, that's 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 the nice. It's another nice thing about having a, a cello. <laughs> you don't have to plug it in. Yeah. Well, it's well, to play my guitar because I don't have an acoustic guitar. I have to plug them in. Great. Yeah. I, it's great. No, I really, I, I'm so glad that Gary put me onto it because what you're doing is absolutely fabulous. It really is. Thank you. To, to see you, if you like, come out of your, what, what we could, let's say, your comfort zone and then go into doing this. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Yeah. We just hope more do it, you know, because um, daydreaming, right? That one, that actual song, even when I listen to Bandmate, it gets to me. It, it because of the, the you know, the, it doesn't matter what language, the feeling, it gets to me. And then, if you like, Konami's guitar, when she does the lead, it's like, oh, flipping hell. It's, it really gets to me. And that's why everybody's going about, oh yeah, you know, can you know get an orchestra to do it or something, you know, because that that would absolutely uh, wipe us all out because it is bit you know, with the feeling from an orchestra, which you can get. And, uh, and of course you did it without you have to excuse me. I'm, I'm a coffee freak. I drink well, no, I don't drink that much of it. But um, it's the way to get. Well, today I got. I thought, right, I'm going to nip to the shop first. But well, it, and then it's pouring down rain. So I thought, no, that can wait. So I've done a couple of reactions today, and then before before I did this, they're quite interesting because um, <laughs> I, I I react to as you know, I react to all sorts, absolutely all sorts. Yeah, a anything. I reckon so hard. 
No, no, it's not. I mean, what, sit here talking to myself? Uh, nah, it's it's not. The most I've done in a day is 17. In one day, I did 17 oh, reactions. Impressed. Well, really? no, what it means is I put up three a day. That gives me X amount of days off to do all the things. Well, I've changed my intro now. Right, sorry, it's very cool. Um, I'm not happy with it, but I never am, because it was a it was a rush job, and the camera quality wasn't very good. So I thought, oh, well, I'll make it black and white, then and then added bits in. Thought, oh, I'll put some snow in, put a mountain behind me. As you can see, I'm all green screen, and I don't live here, by the way. This mm -hmm. isn't where I live. This is just a backdrop. Uh, you know, I mean, if I. Uh, but uh, <laughs> everybody, a lot of people think I live here. I said, yeah, I'm making millions off of YouTube. No way. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't, to, to make money on YouTube, you've got to, one, don't do what I do, which is copy, all of it's copyrighted. So obviously you won't make money from that. Yeah. I don't mind as long as the money's from adverts is going to the people that have got the copyright. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm not in it for that. I mean, it's like this. It's like to meet you is absolutely fantastic because I get to react to the people and I get to meet people all over the world, such as yourself. And it's great. You get to know the person behind the music. And to see, you know, to see what to, what, what you're doing. So you do you do you play any other instruments apart from the cello? So I used to play piano quite well, but I haven't practiced for a while. I think I need to remember my mouse to remember everything that I can play. Also, I can play a bit double bass. And I tried to play real. I mean, for fun, and I couldn't call it like this. Like this. I can play like a small cello. Because for me, it's unnatural. I used to, to play like this. I like cello for that because yeah, when you hold it, all you need to put the head like this, it's, it's okay. As long as you play, I'm like this. It's not very convenient. Yes, yes, I know what you mean. Yes, yes. Um, this instrument's only. Well, no wings. Yeah. Um, I've got to keep, well, obviously, the intro, the only thing on my new intro I didn't play was the drums, right? Yeah. Okay, I've got keyboards, but. Because it's synthesized, I can cheat. I can play one note, press one note down, it'll play like a melody. You know, it's cheating. It's because it's a synthesizer. So, so I don't play the keyboard. I just, uh, it's the same with the intro as well. I put I put a bass in there just to fill the, fill the sound out because that's what I do. I put different things in. I probably use like three guitar sounds to make the sound, to, to do that. And, and I, and I split them and do you know, I just mess about. Yeah, you know, it's it's called cheat. I suppose it's cheating in a way. Whereas with an orchestra, you you don't cheat. You all go into the recording studio, you're all there. You don't yeah. and you don't like add bits and move bits, it's just the whole thing as it sounds, and which is genuine. <laughs> Anybody can cheat it if you're playing it. Makes you feel like off your strands. You feel bad, and you, or maybe you didn't learn anything. You can just imitate the brain. I don't do that. I prepare for every concert. Everything can happen, and you can hide when you're in a big orchestra. I also used to work as a principal in Belarus, principal of state chamber orchestra. So there you can hide. A rag on your hands because everyone, you can hit everyone because they're. 15, 16 people, maybe sometimes 20, 20 in the show. Yeah, I mean, I've got an orchestra. I can play one chord on the guitar and I've got a whole orchestra behind me. It's effects. It's, wow. it's cheating. You know. Wow. It's not true. Really. Just effect, I'd say. Not cheating. Yeah. Have you got... Um, have you got anything like planned to, to do of your own of your own music? My own music? Yeah. Then right. I can only make covers because I had an experience being in a cover band. We wrote a song that 
It was very difficult to translate. We used to play it up in what has already written, uh, or we cover. Uh, to cover is easier, way easier. And now, uh, I don't have comparing skills, and therefore I admire, admire Konami's skills. She has written so many things, it's incredible. And yeah. they keep doing it. I don't know. She's just a genius. Mm. Oh, right. Would you, right, I'm going to ask you this. I, I, I've just, I, I'm full of ideas, right? I, I've got, I've come up with all sorts of things. Uh, same for myself that I can't even do myself. Would you be interested in me collaborating with anybody? Yeah, why not? Right. It's actually, I'm already, I, I can reveal it, but you will hear it. All I'm, all I'm, all I'm going to say at the moment is I'm setting something up, right? It's a collaboration. I can't really sort of talk about it because <laughs> I'll probably tell you after when we're not recorded, <laughs> uh, you know, but uh, I'm setting something up and uh, I've got an idea. Right. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll talk to you after after we've finished, we've finished recording. Um, <laughs> because, uh, it's, you know, it's I've, I'm, I am full. Of, I've got so many ideas of things things that i i i can't do myself i'm not um i know i play the guitar i do this i do that i don't sing i can uh and, and things but I, i've got all these ideas that what i want to do and and i can't do it but anyway i'm not going to say any more about that but <laughs> but but anyway so so you're obviously planning to do some more band made covers and things yeah, I've already started working on a new one. Right, okay. I'm not going to ask you what. We'll keep that a secret. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah. Anyway, what I'll do, um, yeah, let's see. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll stop re I'll stop recording now, but, but we can all, at some point, we can always do a second part right. like, later on down the way. So I am going to say uh, cheerio or goodbye to everybody. Um well, I'm trying to think what it is in. Oh, it's all right. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. I've. I've. I can't remember what it is in German to say goodbye. <laughs> but yes. but Al Alvida saying see you again, isn't it? No. You know? Yeah. Um. But um. But yeah. Anyway, so if we like to say cheerio or bye bye or whatever, and then uh, I'll stop. I'll stop recording. You're gonna say zero bye bye. Bye everyone. See you again. Oh yeah! Before we go, promote yourself. Please subscribe on my channel and my Instagram. Mister, dear Mister, we will share the links. I hope. Yeah. I'll put it more bluntly. Get your asses over there and like and subscribe. <laughs> like is not so unnecessary, but subscribe. No. So, <laughs> yeah, so anyway bye for now bye everyone uh, well there you go lovely guy um right because if you've got any questions because i can always do a part two it's not a problem um just let me know and we can uh, pass them on to me have, a, have another chat um also all the information about his channel and everything else will be down below so go and check him out He's doing a wonderful, wonderful job of everything, what he's doing with the band-made covers and things like that. So all the information will be there. So go over to his channel, go on like, subscribe, and everything else. So uh, there you go. And i just like to thank everybody. Thank you so, so much for all your comments, all your support, and everything else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, please, please, please stay safe for this old fella. We'll be back. Bye for now.